Now, I don't want to go off and say Virgil is not creative. Virgil didn't do anything at all. But come on, guys. Look at the shoes. There is nothing different about them. What's up, YouTube? How you doing? I did not see you there. I honestly thought I was going to skip today and not do a video. But look, it's nice. It's bright outside. And I have something that I really want to talk about because this shoe comes out next month. The shoes I'm talking about is the Off-White Air, Air Force, the Off-White Air Jordan 5s. Now, we're going to talk about this one topic and this one topic only. Virgil, Mr. Off-White himself, do you think he is, you know, a really creative guy? Is his collabs the best in the world? Please don't mind this Bonnet Gang stand up, comment down below, Bonnet Gang. Now, back to what I was talking about. Do you think that he is really 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 creative like let's take a look at the jordan 5 now listen up i'm not saying that virgil is not creative trust me i am not saying that don't put words in my mouth pause i'm talking about something like really creative let's take the uh, sakai collab that was creative let's take the union ones that was creative let's take the travis scott ones that was creativity but i feel like off-white is just that hype because it's off-white and don't get me wrong he has collab that sat and that's how you know people caught on just like myself now two of his shoes that sat a lot of people either forgot about or did the no drop is the waffle racers and the vapor streets now these right here eh, i know it's blast out well blurred out so you can't really see so i'm gonna zoom up a little bit here we go this is the waffle racer is white with nice white yo hold on this right here is the waffle racer a lot of people think yo virgil made these fire look at these right here he did something different we're we're gonna talk about this the first one up is the off-white street vapor fly now as you see he did add i want to say a webbing over the shoe that nice plastic part with rope laces this right here the attachment and then spikes at the bottom oh let me show you properly spikes at the bottom and then he did add spikes at the bottom he also did the same thing with this right here. This is the Waffle Racer, the Off-White Edition. As you see, it's the same thing just like the Vapor Street. He added on that plastic overlay, the rope laces, his branding right here, and of course, the infamous spikes. Now with this shoe right here, ha, a lot of people wasn't feeling this. A lot, and me too. At first, I was not feeling this shoe, but here I do have it because you know, it's, it's nice for the summertime. Did Virgil do anything creative to the original shoe to make this one stand out? I don't think so. And I'm saying that he didn't do anything creative because here's the original shoe. Yeah. Tell me the difference. Now having these shoes hand to hand, I wanna give you guys a great comparison and start this conversation. Did Virgil really do something amazing with any of the off-white shoes? Now let's be honest. This is not the first time he just added something to a shoe and call it a big collab. But if you don't believe me and think I'm just yabbing, yabbing, chatting, chatting, running off my mouth, let's take a look at the Vapor Max. The off white Vapor Max, the all white color, the OG color, what did he really change? Tell me. His Vapor Max is completely white, the other one is platinum. He has puffer laces instead of flat laces. The tongue has an exposed sponge, giving it that vintage feel. And then a heel tag is at the back where the heel tag wasn't on the first ones. And that's basically it, guys. The off-white brand into the side, the stitch swoosh. He gave you a deconstruct Vapor Max. But what about the Air Max 90s? You know, these traditional classic bad boys right here. What did he really do different with this shoe that made everybody go crazy? Bam. There you go. He gave it that destructed look. The look like it's a prototype. Virgil's vision with a lot of these shoes were for them to look like prototypes. That's why you have the unfinished tongue, the unfinished side, the stitched on swoosh. That's what he was really going for. And honestly, I do like it because here, I have them. But there's times when you just notice like, hey, maybe this isn't creative. What do you guys think? But let's get back into these two shoes right here. Everybody has been cutting off this plastic piece. This plastic piece, come on, focus. 
this plastic piece right here, everybody's been cutting it off. So that means you're taking away the off-white branding because that is actually on the plastic piece. So honestly, people do like this shoe. So if you're gonna cut off the plastic piece and take away the shoe from being off-whitish or the whole purpose of the collab, why not just get this one? Because if you're gonna tell me that you're gonna take off the plastic overlay, you're gonna cut off all the spikes, you might as well just get this right here. Because this is a prototype for this. So if you're gonna cut off everything from this that makes it an off-white collab, just get the regular one that's going for $54. Why spend a hundred and something on this when you could get this for half the price? Why love this shoe but hate on this one? Why say this shoe look a lot better when the plastic's off, but this one is horrible? I don't understand you human beings, all right? I don't get you. When and if I get those Air Jordan 5 off-white in my collection, I will be doing a comparison, and I'll show you guys what he did to the original Air Jordan 5 Black Metallics to make it the off-white version. A lot of you guys might just say, hey, he's making it nicer. No, he's just deconstructing it, because I really feel like everything off-white when it comes to Nike, is just a prototype theme. I think that's his whole mindset with this entire collab. And I might be onto something. He might have said that already and it flew, flew over my head and I never knew, never listened, but I'm here now. But yo, love, manas, and always respect, guys. I'm out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you, do you guys wanna see these on feet? Cause I don't know if anybody's gonna actually pick this up or pick this up, but if you guys wanna see it, shoot. Run it.